I'm gonna be showing you something really, really special today, which is a pineapple fried rice. Um, now, uh, pineapple fried rice in Malay, it's called um, nasi goreng nanas, and it's so special that you can get from almost every street food corner, and how they serve it is um, usually on a, or in a uh, pineapple. But yeah, but remember, I promised something. So today we'll be using this one and this one <laughs> and I've got a pen I've got an apple oh apple pen okay I'm not gonna do that because it's quite cringy <laughs> anyways so let's start off today with the starter now for the starter I'm actually gonna be making a uh, sesame chicken so this sesame chicken is gonna taste really nutty and sweet as well as savory. So how I have here is I've diced up some uh, chicken breast. Now um, I'm using about just one piece of chicken breast here, diced up into cubes. Now let's marinate the chicken first. So what you'll be needing is sesame oil. Now for sesame oil, I'm only gonna be using um, one teaspoon that's it that should be enough then followed by the next one is soy sauce you need some soy sauce some light soy sauce let me just check on the comment yeah this is light soy sauce just about one teaspoon of light soy sauce then dark soy sauce for dark soy sauce another teaspoon of dark soy sauce that's it, all done. And then you'll need a pinch of salt, just a tiny bit of salt, just a pinch. And let me just get some black pepper. Also, a pinch of black pepper, that will do. And let's add some brown sugar. Not too much because you might you don't want to burn the chicken. So I'm just using about a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Okay, that's it. And let's mix them up. Mix them up this way. Let me just show you. Okay. Ah, smells amazing. Okay. Right now, what you need to do is preheat your oven to 175 degrees. Um, that's degree Celsius, by the way. And get a um, kitchen foil, and then you're gonna place the chicken right on it. And that's it. Okay, spread it out a bit. There we go. Okay, let's put this aside. Now I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 20 minutes. So by the time um, we finish all with the fried rice and everything, this should be done by then, all right? So pop this in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, now let's move this aside because we don't need them anymore. Now comes to the exciting part. Now today I'm actually making a pineapple fried rice. So for pineapple fried rice, you will be needing some um, really exciting vegetables here. So you need to bring out those colors for your um, fried rice so that it looks really, really beautiful <laughs> and insta-worthy, that's the word. That's right, so I'm using some frozen peas. If you don't like peas, you can substitute this with uh, green beans. Then you, I'm using some uh, prawns. Then also I've got about um, half a pineapple. This is the pineapple, yeah, cut this into half. So this is the pineapple and then I'm using some parsley because like I said, I can't get a whole lot of uh, coriander these days. Then over here we've got uh, red bell peppers or capsicum. Now um, if you're a fan of something spicier, you can try just using red chilies instead. Then you will need a um, our limited edition pineapple relish of course, two eggs, um, these are crab sticks. Sausage, uh, these are frankfurters by the way, not sausage, yeah, frankfurters. And then to bring out that nice yellow color for your fried rice, um, I usually add a tiny bit of turmeric. Then, now, this is really important. For rice, 
Um, if you want to make a really really tasty fried rice um, that is not soggy, that is um, that you can get like pieces of the rice just nice, um, always use um, overnight rice or rice that has been cooled down for at least uh, 5 hours. This way um, the rice is not as wet as um, the ones that straight away um, done or out of the uh, rice cooker. So remember always use overnight rice if you can. Alright? Right, so let's get started. Let me get a chopping board. Okay. Right, so first thing, let's um, chop up all these ingredients. So the, oh, before we go to that one, let's do the pineapple. Let me show you how to do the pineapple. So um, slice your pineapple into half. So I've cut this already as you can see. Then you are gonna keep this pineapple because this is gonna act as your bowl. So it will look very install worthy. Trust me. Okay, so how you're gonna do it is gently and carefully go through the edge of the pineapple, the entire pineapple. Right, just go like that. Make sure do not puncture the pineapple, all right? So you need to be really, really careful with this. So, oh. now, once you reach to this part, all you need to do is, just, it's just like cutting a mango. So cut a little, ah, over here, and then just, there we go. Okay, so you have them something like this already. Now you can't be turning it all, all the way around because you're gonna um, destroy the shape of the pineapple. So what you can do is get a spoon. Now this is the difficult part because you're just gonna spoon them out. Now, um, and then one by one this way. Can you see that? Yeah, just slowly spoon them out. Take your time and then, yeah. So I've actually done this um, this evening and it looks something like this. Ta -da! <laughs> so you have the um, middle cavity that's um, empty. So you're gonna place your rice over here so it'll look amazing, trust me. Okay, so let's put this aside first. Now, let's chop up all the other ingredients. So first one is the uh, crab sticks. And then we need the frankfurters. I'm using some chicken frankfurters today. All right. Now, if you don't want to use frankfurters, feel free to use uh, chicken or even um, tofu. That's fine. And this is done. Okay. Right. Now, um, there's also one very important ingredient that I couldn't get hold of today, which is um, cashew nuts. If you've got cashew nuts, even better. Uh, if not, then it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, you can just um, use um, peanuts, or if you don't have peanuts, like <laughs> I don't have today, so just leave it aside, don't worry. Now, let's get cooking. Now, for fried rice, I will always, always, always recommend to do it on a wok, because um, it's so much easier to do everything on a wok because it's big and you have um, all the space you need to actually fry the rice. Okay, so let's turn on the heat. And by the way, um, as an amateur cook, I don't even consider my dad an amateur cook. Um, what am I? Whatever cook. Okay. Um, I don't really like to use hot plates uh, because um, it it doesn't give me that nice charred feeling or taste that fire could actually bring. So I don't know, it's just my personal preference. I don't know about you. So yeah. Let me just open a window so the whole neighborhood can smell what I'm cooking today. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi everyone. So uh, Catherine is here. Hi Catherine. Um, you've got some. Oh yeah, that's right. Order soon. <laughs> Uh, I'm Malaysian looking here. Oh, hi! And then we've got the best pineapple. How is pineapple called in Malaysia? I found it. Oh, pineapple is called nanas. Yeah, and then in Spanish, I think. Um, 
is called ananas, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we call it ananas, right? So, okay, now the wok is hot enough. Let's get my... Okay, then the next thing you want to do is to add some oil. There we go. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna add in the rice. I'm using one and a half cup of rice here. One thing about this rice is I totally forgot to fluff it <laughs> after cooking it. <sighs> this is what you get if you don't fluff your rice. They'll all stick together. Okay. Then, is my fire strong now? Let's max it up. All right. So, I am always going to throw in the eggs first when I'm frying the rice. All right. Some people like it, um, like to put it last. I personally like to put it first, is because I don't want my um, entire rice to be too soggy or too wet. So let's put the eggs. There we go. This one. Oh, can you crack an egg with one hand? I try and fail miserably all the time. I don't know how I do it. Practice and it still doesn't work. So there we go. Let's mix it up. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Mm. Smells so good already. you're gonna make an egg fried rice is um, let's get a spoon to add turmeric to it so I'm just using a, about a, a half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon this is quarter teaspoon of um, turmeric and then that's how you get the lovely yellow color that you usually get from um, the Chinese takeaways and see how lovely it is right now Got a nice yellow color there. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit more oil to it. as well as uh, what are these again crab sticks yeah <laughs> there we go if you don't have them you can use um, squid or any other um, protein uh, based ingredients okay let's give this a good stir again there we go Ooh. I hope you can smell it from over there this is amazing. Now look at the color. Can you see the color? Amazing, right? Now, let's add in the rest of the ingredient. Starting with the green peas. These are just frozen green peas. Oopsie, sorry. Okay. I am going to add the uh, pineapple, so pineapple here we go in as well as the red peppers or capsicum or we call it bell peppers as well, there we go, give it 
a good stir again. Wow, it looks beautiful. This is so much prettier than how I look when I wake up in the morning. There we go. Okay, now next you'll be adding the pineapple relish. So the, for the pineapple relish, it's the one that's going to give you the sweetness as well as the um, savory garlic ginger flavor to it. So I'm adding about two to three tablespoons. So I'm adding three tablespoons over here today. Okay. Now if you don't have pineapple relish, don't worry, it's fine. You can actually use any relish that you have um, in your kitchen. So if you've got like um, a onion relish, then just use that. It's fine. It's totally fine. Mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Now I'm just gonna season it with a bit more salt. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Then, ah, I totally forgot to chop this up. One second. Okay, these are parsley, so I'm just gonna simply chop them up. There we go. I'm so gonna be joining MasterChef. Jokes. <laughs> then add in your parsley or coriander if you can get hold of coriander. There we go. Now, let's give it another good stir. Ooh. Smells so good. Look at how beautiful the color. Awesome, right? Then, last but not least, I am adding in the prawns. These are already cooked prawns that I get from the supermarket. It's quite difficult to get like raw prawns here in the UK. They usually have the ready cooked ones. Don't know why. <laughs> there we go. And that is all done. Just give it a good stir a bit more. Okay, let's turn off the heat. Let me show you how it looks like. Ta-da! Pretty, right? Okay, now let's put this away first. Ouch! Kind of hot. <laughs> All right, let's put this away. Then we're gonna bring over. Oh look, I bought this from Sainsbury's yesterday. Because I think like I need a black plate to make my uh, plating a bit more posh. <laughs> so <laughs> I found this. It's not cheap though. It's like five quid. <laughs> yeah, five quid. <laughs> Quite broke. <laughs> so let me just wipe this up. Okay. Now look at how pretty this is. Okay. So this is your pineapple. Put it in the middle. All right. Then, uh, let's bring this over again. I don't have something to put it on, so I'm just gonna keep that with me one second. There we go. All right. Now. Ooh, it smells so good. And you scoop. And we're just gonna scoop a few to this pineapple rice over here. you get a bowl of lots of colors to it as well. Got my enough green in there as well. There we go. Wow. Okay. You need to make it overflow a little. Right. A bit like come up to the top and then loosen up a little bit a little. There we go. Look at my pineapple fried rice. How amazing is that? You can get, um, uh, you can taste this um, um, in most streets uh, across uh, Malaysia as well as uh, in Thailand. It's quite popular. Now, I am going to garnish this with 
a bit of coriander leaves. These are just dry coriander leaves. I don't really like to use them because they don't really have that much flavor that I always look for. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top. Look at how, oopsie, look at how amazing this is. Now, if I don't win MasterChef with this dish, I don't know what will. <laughs> jokes, 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 I'm just kidding. So, okay, so let's put this aside and let's make the dessert for today. Okay. Now, for the dessert, I am making an apple-based dessert. <laughs> pen pineapple, apple pen, you see? Uh, let me get hold of an apple. So, apple for the dessert, you will need two pieces of uh, what's this thing? This is an OT crunch, like a um, biscuit. Yeah, you can also use digestive biscuits, um, it's fine. So, for each person, you're gonna be using two of these. All right, now let me just look at one, two, ah, nasi goreng nanas, yeah. Goreng. Yeah, this is nasi goreng that I've just made, nasi goreng nanas. Uh, smooth in the kitchen. I know, right? <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Now, uh, right. You need delivery. Oh, yeah. I wish. And then, can smell it from over there, Renee. Mmm, nice one. <laughs> okay, now let's um, start with the. Uh, the. What is this thing called again? Oh, crunch again. So we're just gonna smash this. Oopsie. So if you have like a, a pasta and mocha, just grind this. Now, um, I'm just gonna use my fingers. There we go. Okay. They don't have to be too fine um, because you're not gonna be eating sawdust, are you? <laughs> okay. Now, but if you like it, really fine and go ahead no one's gonna judge you okay okay much better than master chef oh, thank you sarah made a wise decision oh, thank you I hope all crushed up like that okay Next thing that we want to do is to make sure that we cut up the um, apple. Now, for the apple, you're gonna just slice them up. Uh, let me get another knife. There we go. So, slice them into half. Okay. Then, by the way, apple isn't my favorite fruit because I don't know. I just don't really like the taste of apples. But this dessert right here, my friend, is kind of awesome. Not kidding. Then, just gonna throw away the middle part. Okay. Next, we're just gonna slice this up um, this way. Oh, wow. Okay, so you want it to be this thick. About, I would say, how big is this? This is about two and a half centimeters thick. I'm not very good with that, so <laughs> I hope I'm right! Next, do the same thing on the other side. Um, for each person, you'll probably be needing about half an apple. So, there we go. Let's put this aside. Now, next thing that we want to do is to bring uh, our stove back. And then let's put this aside so I don't make any more noise. There we go. And then let's get a um, top. Now, okay. Okay, this is too small. Let's see if I can find a slightly bigger one. Ta-da! Okay, so now we will be adding just a splash of water. So I would say about one tablespoon of water. Not too much, okay? Then let's heat this up. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add brown sugar into this. Now it's gonna create like a nice caramelized sauce to it, but without adding the butter. So I am adding 
two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. I love things that's sweet. Because I'm sweet. <laughs> okay, I shall stop doing all those weird stuff. Okay, lower down the heat because you don't want to burn the uh, sugar. But like this stove right here, it's very difficult to control the fire. So I'm just going to turn it off because it's already um, boiling there. So I'm just going to throw in the apples now. Okay, throw in the apples and then give it a good stir around. Make sure the apples get like the nice tasty um, brown sugar. Coat it. Okay. Then I am adding a pinch of salt. There we go. And stir this around again. Let's heat it up a bit more. Okay. There we go. Look at how amazing this is. Right now, let's turn this off. Okay, and then let's take this away. We don't need this for now. Okay, so this is how the apple looks like at the moment. See, there we go. Okay, now put this over here. Now with this one right here. Okay, I'm going to be adding some yogurt. You can use any type of yogurt, but I would really recommend using. Um, Greek style yogurt or Greek yogurt, full fat Greek yogurt. Now the one that I'm using over here is a strawberry flavored one. You can just use a normal um, flavored one. You can use a blueberry. It's up to you, personal preference. I got the strawberry one because it was on offer. <laughs> okay, let's mix this up. Now, this is where it gets pretty awesome. You're just gonna add it to the biscuits that you have over there. Okay. There we go. Why is that sound stuck in my hand? Okay. Mm. There we go. So this is how it looks like right now. Then we're gonna take out all the apples from the uh, sugar. Place it aside first so it's a bit cooler. Okay. Now, oh, it's still quite hot, but um, I'm rushing for time. <laughs> so make sure you cool it down a bit first. Then I'm going to lay them this way. Just going to bring it forward so you can see. Okay. Gonna turn it to make sure that it covers the entire area. There we go. So you're just gonna continue um, filling it up until it turns into like a beautiful flower. And let me show you what I've done. So once you've done all that, you'll look something like this. How cool is this? And it's so easy to make, right? It takes less than five minutes to do this entire thing. See? How beautiful! Ta-da! So we're gonna try this in a bit. Okay, let's put this aside first. Okay, now, oh, our starter. Totally forgot about it. Now, our starter should be done right now. Yes, it is. Okay, let's turn this off, off, and then I'm gonna move this away so we've got a bit more space. Right. I need a bigger kitchen. Oopsie. Okay. Let's bring out our starter. Okay. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. It smells gorgeous. Look at it. Look at this. Okay. If you're not, if you're not hungry by just looking at this, I don't know what will make you hungry. Because I'm starving. Okay. So this is our starter. Now. What we're gonna do is, is just plate it on my fancy plate. Okay, so it's gonna take a few pieces. Got some chopsticks right over here. Gonna just pop it onto the beautiful plate. Now, 
because it's hashtag Friday night dinner, we are making it like Michelin star style. So it's again, like I say, in style worthy. That's the very important term. So you don't want to put too much, just a tiny bit, and make people come back for more. There we go. Oh, how pretty. Next thing, garnish this with some sesame seeds. If you got toasted sesame seeds, even better. Hi. Oh my god. This is amazing. Okay, I think we'll need it to be a bit greener as well. So I am going to add a tiny bit of... Um, my, where's my coriander powder again? Uh, sorry. <laughs> coriander leaf. Let's make it even cooler by taking the sauce that we've got over here. Okay, just gonna just put it on the side. Tell me if this isn't worthy of a Michelin star. Come on, look at this. Pretty, right? I know. <laughs> now, I don't think I will be eating from this plate because it's I don't know if I can recreate this, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, Tons of doing those weird things is great. <laughs> oh, thanks. Can you use green apple? Yes, you can use any type of apple. To be fair, I myself, I'm not very familiar with the types of apples that are in the market. So like um, in Malaysia, all I know is apple. That's all. <laughs> but when I came to the UK, oh my god, they have like Granny Smith, they've got like Red Washington, they've got like I don't know what other apples are there, like I said. So I just grab whatever apple that is in the market. That's it. Easy as that. So everyone, let me show you all the starter to um well not all the starter, the starter all the way to the dessert. Okay? Let me just pop this aside and all our amazing stuff so we've got that and then we've got a pineapple rice that's pineapple fried rice I have to emphasize that and our what should we call this so that's apple that's yogurt and that's oh biscuit so let's call this our apple tart you can't call it apple tart can you um, OT apple dessert Ah, come on, give me a name, people. What name can we put this? Um, you've got apples, and then you've got sugar in them, then you've got... Um, anyone, first person that tells me what can we name this, and I'll name this. <laughs> Nobody? Okay. Don't worry. So, um, how about apple... Okay, so this is how the entire dinner looks like. My Friday night dinner looks like this. How is yours? Let me show you mine. Let me move this um, camera a bit. Wow. OT Apple Dessert. Will's Apple Surprise. Mm. Will's Apple Surprise sounds a bit... <clears throat> Not that great, is it? <laughs> Let's go for a mix of both. Can't spell it tart. Oh yeah. Hey, something like that. That's right, that's right. Uh-huh. But yeah. Okay, so there we go. Our dessert. Mm -hmm. Will OT dessert with Rene's OT biscuits. <laughs> and then we've got a pineapple fried rice and our delicious uh, what this is called again? Sesame chicken. So I'm gonna try them all. So I'm not gonna touch those because they are too pretty and I haven't taken picture for my Instagram. So let's try the chicken first. Okay. Take pictures. There we go. Mm, it tastes like teriyaki chicken by the way. Delicious. Mm. Yep. No. Let's try our fried rice. 
Like I said, I'm not gonna try it from here because it's too pretty. I don't want to touch it yet. So I'm gonna try it from the walk itself. <laughs> Let's try. This is my pineapple fried rice, or in Malay, you call it nasi goreng nanas. There we go. Mmm, fantastic. Personally, I will personally add some chopped um, chili to it, but it goes, it's great already without it. Let's try our dessert. Again, <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to use the one that I've made partially. Let's hope it tastes good. For desserts, I always like desserts that has got a bit of um, sauce and crunch to it. So this one, you got like a nice yogurt over there, and then the sweetness and crunch from the apple as well as the OG biscuit is just perfect. Mmm, amazing. Right, so that's it for my session for Friday night dinner. I hope you guys try this on out. If you try them out, remember to take a picture, snap it, and share it with me. That would be awesome. Yeah, I hope you have a really amazing Easter weekend and I'll see you again next Monday, which is our Easter Monday for a special um, series of Meat Free Monday. Yep, got any comments or if you want me to make anything that you think I should be making or if you got any ingredients and you don't know what to do with them, send it to me. Well, just type it down and I'll go search for it. All right, make something cool. All right, I'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody.